How's it going guys and welcome to another episode of Let's Build. In this episode we are going to be attempting to build the infamous Rainbow Serpentine. That's right, Flying Serpent. So this is going to have the undulating back and forth motion and it's going to be able to fly. In theory. Built one before, I'll put a link in that and in the card here. And I will also put a link in the card here to the video in which Scrapman showed it on one of his best builds video. He seemed to enjoy it as well. So let's see if we can't build one of these puppies today. All right, so we're gonna start. We have to start. I'm gonna assume that we're gonna start with the jet seat. We want something aerodynamic for the head that looks kind of snakish, snakish. So we're just going to build the head out real quick. Uh, putting one of these on there, putting one of those on there. And now it comes to the, okay, the kind of repetitious part. So we're going to take some large hinges. And let's see, what are we going to set these to as far as timing? We want to set our duration and our pause. So let's say, I think half a second 0 0.5 would probably be too fast so let's try maybe a 0 0.6 or a 0 0.7 let's try 0 0.6 so 0 0.6 and for the pause we want 0 0.6 as well speed we can keep it one angle we can keep it 30 and everything else is good we want to set that to let's set that to number one and we'll set that to toggle Get rid of the controls for the red. So that is on the green. So that means this tail is going to whip over to the left. So what we want to do is we want to copy these out. Reverse them. And on these two, we simply want to set a delay of 0 0.6. So now, let's put a block on the end here just to test. Make sure it does what it's supposed to do. Build that in. Jump in, hit number one. Back, forth, back, forth back forth so that's doing exactly what we wanted to do but it doesn't seem to have quite enough bend in there right eh? so let's maybe give it a little bit more time or we can increase the speed so if we put the speed up to two let's see what that does yeah still not as much as i'd like so we will select all of those and we'll set the angle to 45 and we'll set the speed back down to one. Test that. All right, that seems to go pretty evenly back and forth. So now the even more tedious part is we want to copy these four. And I don't want to copy them to the back this way because then it'll actually mirror itself and that'll just cause more problems. So I usually copy them upwards and then drop them down this way. That way they're the exact same alignment when you copy them. You've got to be aware of which direction it wants to copy your mirrored pieces to. So let's build that in and that should have both of them going at the same time. So that's not really what we want. We actually want them slightly offset for every set that we go. So the longer we go, the more offset numbers we're going to have but it's not too, too complicated once you understand how it works. So right now we've got these two sets. So I'm gonna select this set back here. Same thing, copy it out to the side or up. Back to here, a couple of more of these suckers. Copy those back, Don't matter. doesn't matter if we mirror those. And so now we have to decide on a delay time. So I'm gonna go with a 0 0.2. So this first set here is equivalent to this first set. So this first set has no delay. So this is where we're going to add our first 0 0.2 in the delay. And then we want to add 0 0.2 to the next set. So we have 0 0.6, we'll make that 0 0.8. And we do the same thing all the way down the line. So this, this one here is going to be at 0 0.2, this first set. So we want to add 0 0.2 to that. So our first set here is going to be 0 0.4. And these were at 0 0.8. So these are going to be at one second. One second. Okay, build that in, check it out. Jump in the seat, hit number one. Ooh, it's a very snaky snaky, huh? Eh? So as you can see, that's your offset in those hinges. They're all doing the same thing. You just slightly offset it so that we end up getting that snake motion. 
So we're going to copy that out a few more times to our desired length of whatever it is that we're going for here. Copy those out. So I'm going to copy these out and I will see you on the other side. Okay, so let's go with that for length. Put a tail on them there. So now we gotta, I know we have the first three set up. So the easiest way to do this, we know our second set here is set to a delay of one second, right? So we wanna set this to 1.2. These will be 1.4 and so on and so on. 1.6. One point eight. Two seconds. Final ones will be at two point two. All right, all the way back to the beginning again. Here we go. These ones, our last ones that we set programmed to, were set to four seconds. So these here are gonna be zero point six. These are gonna be zero point eight. Sorry, my draw just slipped in there. Let's try and correct that, shall we? 0.8 and now these ones are up to one second complete these ones will be 1.2 seconds come on now why didn't it change 1.2 that's right got a boy 1.4 and 1.6 it's our final delay on the tail section all right now let's build this in Jump in the seat and hit number one. And look at the snaky, snaky action happening here. It's about as snaky as it gets, people. So now the trick is, can you make that snake fly? Well, let's give it a shot, shall we? All right, back into build mode. So if we just simply add wings onto this thing, we put some wings on it, like down here on the ground, maybe don't want it to be interfering with our range of motion and our hinges so we'll put some hey some wings like this copy them back just like that like this all the way back bada bing bada bang bada boom all right let's see what that does build it in jump in hit number one we also want to watch for collisions on the end so we can see it is sliding a little bit but our 45 degrees on those hinges might be a wee bit too much or if it's not if you want to keep that degree of angle all you need to do is uh you know go a little bit of time just move these ones by move those ones by move these ones back and then just add in one more these here cubes in between the body sections like that so then we're gonna be all right like that like this like that like that and the final one and then we're gonna go bang 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 boom piff paf Oh, no, we don't want the path. No path. Path free. Sans path. All right, build it in. Jump in, hit number one. Now we got all kinds of snake motion happening. So, what we need is a wee bit of forward action. So, we need to put just a wee bit. So, tiny thrusters. We don't want to have them up like that. So, maybe... Maybe we'll put a set of tiny thrusters down here. We want to try and keep it in line with the wings. We want to keep our thrust in line with our center of gravity so that we get level flight or as level as possible. So these here as well are going to be set to number one toggle. And we're going to build that in like that. Hit number one. So see, even a little bit of forward action is already going to start giving us some some flight but we, we want the head to go up not just the tail 
but of course that's where the seat is so that's where the majority of the weight is so if it wants to play that and we're going sideways this is like a sidewinder I don't want to be no sidewinder all right back into build mode Okay, so maybe what we want to do is we want to reposition our center of mass somewhere more around here, like that. So we'll get rid of these, move this to the back, and we're going to need a couple of small ones in here. Fill up this gap here, like that, and then we will need to add a few more of these up front. And put our snake head back on there. Maybe we don't want to use that. We'll use a couple of round pieces for a snake head. Hey, these ones make it look like a scary snake head. So, like that. Obviously, it'll have to be a wee bit longer. But let's see if that flies any better. Like that. Way back to the seat. Jump in, hit number one. Come on now. Come on. Let's pull back a little bit. See if that gives us any lift. It's lifting the tail. Oh, okay, there goes the head. Yeah, yeah, we got a wee bit. We got a wee bit, but we're drifting sideways. The head is still a wee bit heavy. All right, we got a nose down snake. It's not what we're looking for, but it's close. Getting there, slowly but surely. Now, see here, I'm just using the seat steering, pushing A and D and S and W, trying to level it out, get it to fly straight. Okay, so we still have weight issues in the front. And that's probably because of our mini thrusters that are in the front. So, what we're going to do... Rock yeah! No, we're going to move these back to here. Or maybe even behind. To counter that slight forward weight of that seat. So let's try that. Build that in. Hit number one. Be free! Fly away! Well, it's flying... Oh, oh! Fly upside down! Right, well, you know what that means, right? We need stabilizers. Number one. Okay, there goes the head up, no problem. So even those two little mini thrusters has given us enough movement to... Oh, 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 it still wants to flip over. Okay, so maybe... Maybe, maybe... We'll copy these out. And... Stabilizers on the ends of these wings. There will be no flippage. No flippage. So we're going to put these on the ends of all of our wings. And whoever commented that I look like a barbarian, a classic barbarian, I'll take that as a compliment. Thanks, right on. Come with me if you want the roof. Okay, so let's try this and see if this is any stabler, more stable hazard. Okay, now it's starting to look like an insect, but that's all right. Oh, we got some sparks. Come on, forward, forward. I guess we are uphill a little bit. There we go. Get some forward motion. Come on. Come on now. Backwards. Doing a moonwalk. Doing the snake walk. Looks like a centipede now. Okay, you know what? I'm going to reduce. So again, holding down left control, double click on these, I will select them all, and I'm going to change that angle down to 40 degrees. Try and get rid of some of those sparks. We'll try that again. Okay, let's go back to the spawn point. We're going to spin it around this way, facing downhill a little bit. Hit number one. See if we can actually get into the air now. We're probably quite a bit heavier with those stabilizers on there. On the ends of the wings and if that's the case if that's the way it wants to be then that means we're gonna copy another set of these out to this front one right here just like that we'll try that double the power hey where are you going You're supposed to be flying not running away See, I actually think those vertical stabilizers that we have in the back are not really helping. Ooh, 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 headless snake. So I think what we need is some way to steer this thing, right? I think, I think that would be wise if we could steer. So what we're going to do for steering, we're going to cheat a wee bit and we're going to put a helicopter engine right here, right there. And we'll set the controls on that. So green is going to spin counterclockwise, which means the torque will pull us clockwise. So that's D and that's A. Uh, five. Yeah, let's leave it on five and see what that does. So we'll build that in. Go back to the spawn point. 
just resets everything. We'll rebuild it in this direction. Hit number one. Test our steering, which is probably going to be pretty strong because it's on five. Yeah, see the whole thing is turning around that middle section. That's okay as long as we can get it going forward. Seems like we just don't have enough forward speed to get lift. And we're not staying going straight, so we may need to put some small stabilizers on there. So but let's try this one more time. One more time. Like that. Jump in. Third set. We should get enough forward motion now that those wings will give us some lift. We'll pull back a bit. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, look at that. So close. Almost there. We've got steering. Can we stay in the air now? It looks like we're in the air now. And we're still flopping around. We are going to need some kind of vertical stabilization. And we're also going to need some more control surfaces as far as steering. So we got a flying snake-ish. Yeah, we're definitely going to need some some stabilization. So let's try just putting some of the smaller stabilizing fins. We'll put a set here. And we'll put a set at the back. Now you could put one on all of these, I imagine. Yeah, let's try that. Pull back, see if we can get into the air without going into the drain. Because we don't have a waterproof seat. But everything's automatic, so look at that. There you go. Your snake be swimming in the water. Auto snake. That's not really what we're looking for, is it? Back to the spawn point. Now, our steering isn't super strong. So let's bump that up a little bit to maybe six. Hold that, hold that in, jump in, hit number one. See, we go towards the low portion there. Might actually need a few more thrusters or some more control surfaces, so I'm pulling back right now. But just the seat steering is getting us into the air. If I push down, see I'll push W and see if that'll actually get our nose down. Not really, not so much. But we are flying a lot straighter. You notice that? Staying a lot leveler. It does want to go upwards a bit, and that's okay. Because now if we choose to put some, let's check our steering. If we choose to put some more thrusters on there, we can put them near the front. Where we put these two here, we're just going to delete those. Ta-da! We're going to take another helicopter engine. I'm just going to plop it in there. Right in that spot. Bang, bang. The only places it's touching is the front and the back, so it can still spin. The wings don't have any connection points back there. And we're going to set that up as green is going to roll us that way and this way. And this we're only going to set to like maybe three. So that should give us some roll. Let's rebuild that hit number one pull back we could use helicopter engines to control our lift our pitch but I think I'm actually gonna put some uh, some control surfaces in there for that so if we turn to the right as you can see we get a bit of roll go with it we still don't have any pitch control but we have roll this way We have yaw, yaw, yawmon, and this way like this. So uh, maybe we just need a little bit more thruster power, and maybe we need a little bit more weight on the front side. Well, actually, what well, we'll probably need more weight once we put some uh, steering controls on the rear end. So on the back side, on the well, maybe not on the back side. Maybe we'll do it on the front side. That way it's leading its body instead of trying to push its body in a certain direction. So what we'll do is going to be simple as this then, eh? We're just going to take a couple of these large hinges. We're going to have these ones going up and down. Just like that. Green is going to be back. And w is going to be forward of a speed of 0.1. Very slow. And we don't need that much angle, so we're going to go 10 degrees. And that's it. That's it. That's all you get. 10 degrees. So maybe a wee bit more of a snake-like head on the front here. 
and we can use uh, not those little ones, we want the big ones. That's right. Like this. Oh, too many times. Getting all flippy, flippy. Maybe something like that. And we can get a little more aerodynamic. A little more aerodynamically responsible if we want. We could do like this. And then just drop down a three slope like this in front of it. Get rid of any negative energy, but that might be great in there. We can go fancy as well. We can add a little bit more weight. All right, we got so many wings on here. You can you can add some aesthetic pieces without worrying about too much about adding too much weight. So we can put those like that, and we can probably do those along the whole thing. But let's let's just check first. Maybe we'll copy one more set of these out to the front see how that works we can check our steering and our tilt and our power all at the same time all right let's go snakey snakey mcsnakerson all right we'll pull back are we going up we are going up and are we going down if i push down are we going down look at that it leveling itself out there we go now we got some flight controls we can go a little this way a little that way and again, because it is jiggling like that, it's gonna be it's gonna be a little tougher to control in the air. But as you can see, it's staying up there pretty good by itself. We can fly this way and that way. And imagine you could play make a pretty I imagine you could probably make a pretty long one like this as well. Again, slow down the uh, the oscillations in the body. Longer body sections. All kinds of things you can do. You could add weapons to it, but because it's not moving that fast, well, I guess 120k, 130, 140, 150 if you dive. Dive! Then you, you could add some weapons, but the kickback would probably, you'd feel it. It's already amazing that it stays in the air as it is. All right, so let's go back to this pump point. And what we're gonna do here is, I'm gonna do, like I said, we're gonna copy some of these. Not that one, this one. And this one, copy them forward, all the way to the front, like, like this, like that, and copy these ones back, bang, 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 here, and to there, and again, and again, and one more time, Una Mas, all right, just like that. All right, now we can maybe give him a funky tail. Let's give him a fire tail. Yeah, let's give him a fire tail. We're going to put a fire pit. Hey. Put a fire pit right here on the tail. And then we're going to select a color for this feller. And we're going to make him, what color we're going to make him? He's going to have a fire tail. We're going to make him yellow. Not like scared cat yellow, but the color yellow. All right, like this. Let's see, he scooches along the ground pretty good. Pretty good, and then we pull up, and we get a little bit of lift, and once he gets off the ground, there we go. We got some lift, we can fly over the mountain like that. Then we got a fire tail going on. It's going, oh, don't fly into the mountains. We cannot swim, so do not go in the water. And again, you could just simply make this aquatic by putting a couple of, uh, adding some underwater propellers on here and using an underwater seat, a sub seat. Or the space seat and then you could have an underwater one as well the same undulations will still work you just need different propulsions so that is like a rainbow serpentine so all you need to do now is just color that your rainbow pieces or whatever color you want and you got yourself a flying snake so that is how you make the rainbow serpentine you guys have asked for it a few times. I finally decided to give it to you. Here you go. Hope you like it. All right, thanks for joining me, guys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed what you see here, don't forget to hit that like button. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. And we will see you in the next one. Ciao.